Hey calculus students, we can start with a little data from 10 differential equations and you can see most students took uh, 45 minutes and then some students took 30 minutes or less. So I'm going to say 40 minutes was probably about uh, the average including video time, not too bad. And then I've got one more data thing. It says which differential equation was difficult and possible for you to be do correct. And most people have said that they owned differential equations. Uh, we're going to do a circuit today with differential equations. And I took the one that had the 22% and made one like it. And I made that the first equation in our circuit. So you can we can do that one together and make sure that everybody's um, got that one perfectly well done. Okay, so let's get to it. It's a differential equation circuit today. Remember, doing these perfectly and showing your work perfectly, I think, is going to be an important part of the AP test, or at least it stands a good chance. Remember, you're only going to have two free response questions, and hopefully one of them will be a differential equation, since so many of you own them. All right, let's, uh, let's look at our circuit, and notice it says start here, right there, up at the top. And that's the one that's like the number six that people said was the most difficult one. So um, let's do that one. I'll uh, take this thing and um, first separate the variables. So this is going to be dy over y squared is equal to x dx. And then we're going to integrate both sides. And this is the thing you really want to have. This is probably um, one or two points on the AP exam to separate the variables correctly and put your integral on both sides. And now we're going to integrate this. And this one right here is the integral of y to the negative 2 dy. This is not natural log, not natural log. You'll add 1 to the exponent, and then you'll divide by the negative 1 and get negative this, and that's going to be negative 1 over y. And then over here, this one is much easier to integrate, so we can just go right to the end and make this 1 half um, x squared plus c. And to be honest, this is really not too bad of place to plug in 3 comma 2, but probably better if we went ahead and cleaned this up and solved this, uh, uh, solved this for y. Remember, we're going to run the exchange program. So here it is. It's negative 1 over there. And then here's 1 half x squared plus c here. So this whole part is now the denominator. And then that equals y. And then I'm going to clean up this one half in here. If I just multiply um, top and bottom of the fraction by 2, um, then I'll get a nice, clean-looking answer um, that we can go ahead and use and find our C-finder. So this is going to be negative 2, multiplying that top part by 2. This will be x squared. And then 2 times C, of course, is still just C. So I'll call that plus C. And then over here, I've got just y. And remember, I'm not multiplying this by 2. I'm just multiplying the fraction by 2 over 2. So this is still just y. OK, this is a great place, you can see, to plug in um, our C finder, which was 3 comma 2. So you want to make a note of that. I'll put at and then 3 comma 2. And we'll just plug those in. So everywhere that you see, everywhere that you see a x, you're going to plug in 3, and everywhere you see y, you're going to plug in 2. So this is going to be negative 2 is equal to, and then we've got um, 3 squared, which is 9, and then plus c is equal to the y value, which is 2. And hey, I think I'm just going to run the exchange program again. I'm going to take and put this 2 down here, and I'll put the 9 plus c up there, and that should give us a nice, easy version. So I'll get negative 2 over 2 is equal to 9 plus c. It's just a version of cross multiplication. So this gives you negative 1 is equal to 9 plus c, and then c is equal to negative 10. And so we can go back up to our formula, which was this one, at the place where we plugged it in and use our negative 10. And we can go y equals negative 2 over x squared minus 10. And remember how the circuit works. This is not the answer to this problem. It's an answer to one of the other problems. You're now looking for this answer. And I believe that's on number seven. So looking forward in time, we see, hey, that's that one right there, number seven. 
And this one is really easy, but I'll still do it for you. I'm going to do two and a half problems for you. Unfortunately, you get this one because this one is incredibly easy. It's x plus 1 dx. And now we're going to integrate both sides. And so here comes my integral. I've got my variables separated and I'm integrating. And then here comes my integration. This is going to be y. And this is going to be 1 half x squared uh, plus x plus c. And we're already to the point where we can just plug in 2 comma 1. So 1 is going in for y, and then 2 is going for s, x. So 2 squared is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Plus, and then remember we're plugging in 2, and then plus c. And that's 4, and then subtracting, that's a c of negative 3. So this is a c of negative 3. So if I just rewrite this with my c value plugged in, I'll have the second one in our circuit calculated. And there it is. And we're looking for this answer. And that answer is number 10. And I'm going to do half of number 10 for you, only half. So here's number 10. Also, a fairly easy question. Not quite as easy as the last one, but still fairly easy. And remember, I'm only doing half here. So here's dy um, is equal to, and then we've got 4x then let's make this x squared minus 5 to the 1 half dx. And we're going to integrate both sides. This is what you want. Separate the variables and integrate. And it looks just like that. And you can see we're going to get super easy integration here, which I'll just call y. And then over here, you're going to have to do a little u substitution. u is equal to x squared minus 5 and then du is equal to 2x dx, and away you go. So I'll let you finish that one. Good luck with your circuit. Remember, you can send me a message um, if you're having trouble with one, and I will send you a hint so that hopefully you can complete your circuit. Once your circuit is done, you will upload it to its learning uh, so that I can look at your work and see how magnanimous it looks. Good luck.